to create this look you want to start off with hair that has been stretched we're going to start by creating the middle part going from the edge of our hair up to the crown hair hair once we've created that we want to section it away and then work on creating another smaller part on each side of the part that we did in the middle We'll be creating twists going around the hair. So what you're just doing is creating twists that are not too big and twists that are not too small. Because later on we are going to be adding beads to these twists. You can decide to also do braids, normal braids also. For this style, I kind of created about 10 small braids um, or twists going around the perimeter of the middle part. Once that was done, I sectioned those twists away so that I can work on the full bob area. To create the bob, I'm just smoothing our hair to kind of remove any kinks that might exist. And the first thing that you want to do is you want to gather a small section and take your elastic tie and tie off the end of the hair. Once you've tied off the end of the hair, you want to flip that end, the ponytail, and kind of tuck it into the hair. And it's kind of interesting, I'd hard to describe, but take the elastic section it like that and then tuck it in once you've tucked it in you want to spread it out kind of fanning it out so once you've done that the next step is to connect those little four bobs <laughs> together and i'm just using small um air, uh, air clips or small bobby pins to do that so it's just like you're connecting the bobs together so that it will have like a seamless look to it and now the last thing is just to shape it the way you want so it's time to work on the twist the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna be using these beads we chose some golden beads and also some neutral color beads and we're going to be beading all this together she kind of likes a bob like that but um i got this beading hook thing and i'm arranging all the beads the way that i want it to appear you can choose any designs that you want but this is the way that i want it to appear in our hair once you've got all the beads the way you want the next thing is to put it inside the hair. Now we're using this, uh, I call it a beading hook. I don't know what you guys call it, but comment down below and let me know what you'd call it. And I'm using it to kind of bead our hair, uh, put the beads into our hair. Once the beads are there, I'm going to just make sure I arrange everything the way that I want it to appear. You can see the little bits are kind of the last ones. So I'm taking the little bits and wrapping the ends of our hair around the top of the little bits just to secure the hair away. I do not use elastic tie in this area. You can use elastic ties if you want, but I chose not to. Once that is done, this is how it looks. Now for the other twist, I'm making sure that they fall in the same level so that to keep it a very symmetric look. And you can see how I'm watching to make sure that everything lines up the right way. So once we do that, I'm using my the end of my rat tail comb just to make the bob look good again so the last thing she's doing is putting on her head tie and this came with the costume that we chose for her and she's going to a costume party so this is going to be a fun event for her to kind of participate in and that's the look we do hope you guys like it and if you like it don't forget to comment down below and let us know what 
costumes your kids are gonna wear and also just uh, have a fun time and just have a fun time with your imagination and creating fun styles and fun looks for your kids and for yourselves thank you so much for watching and we do hope you watch our vlog channel where we're going to go to the event that she's participating in and it's it's gonna be a fun event so watch our vlog channel dn vlogs live and see you in the next video Bye.